Welcome to Computer Science Advising. This semester, we will be utilizing Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Bookings for your advising appointments. The following video will detail the steps needed to schedule, prepare, and attend an advising appointment with your academic advisor. To ensure a timely and smooth advising and registration process, please follow the steps provided in this video. Step 1. Check your initial advising email from the CS Front Desk. This email will provide details regarding your academic advisor, the registration dates based on your classification, how to schedule an advising appointment, and the specific tasks that you should complete prior to advising, including the completion of your academic advising form and the final year of study plans for students who intend to graduate within one academic year. Step 2. Read Advising Guidelines. Included in the initial email is a link to the advising guidelines with additional information regarding the advising process. Step 3. Request your advising appointment through Microsoft Bookings. Students will find a link to their academic advisor's Microsoft Bookings calendar. Once you have accessed the calendar, you will be able to select a date and a time that your advisor is available for an appointment. Once a date and time is selected, enter your information in the fields provided. Once completed, click Book and wait for the confirmation window to appear. Once the confirmation window appears, you should receive an email shortly. Step 4. Check email for advising appointment details. After you book an appointment, you will receive an email with details regarding your appointment. Included in this email will be the link to your advising appointment through Microsoft Teams. Should you need to cancel the appointment for whatever reason, please email the CS Front Desk at csfrontdesk at utep.edu with a cancellation request. Your appointment will not be canceled if you do not email the CS Front Office. Add the appointment to your Outlook calendar to access it directly on the day of your advising appointment. Step 5. Generate Degree Evaluation to generate a degree evaluation, go to Goldmine. Click on Student Records. Then click on Degree Evaluation. Select the latest term. Then click on Generate New Evaluation. For your own records and to ensure accuracy during the advising process, please update your degree plan. You will find the degree plan on the CS website. Please select the degree plan that you are currently on. You will find the degree plan document as well as the flowchart that will provide the necessary details regarding which courses you should be taking and when it is appropriate to take them. To view the course schedule for the upcoming semester, go to the CS website and click on 
course schedule. Here you will see the upcoming course schedule including meeting locations and times. Additionally, you may view courses through Goldmine. All students should complete an academic advising form prior to the start of their advising session. This form will be a list of courses that you plan to take and would like to discuss with your academic advisor. You should complete the form with all of the required information as well as the courses that you plan to take. Please include the course number, CRN, name and time. Please be aware that failure to complete this form may result in your advisor canceling and rescheduling your advising appointment. Students who intend to graduate in one academic year and register for CS4310 Software Engineering 1 should complete a final year plan of study. This document outlines the courses that you will be taking over the final year of your degree. It is required for all students in their last year of study. Download the Microsoft Teams app by going to teams.microsoft.com and then sign in using your UTIP credentials. You will be directed to download the application on your device. Microsoft Teams will be used to meet with your academic advisor on the day of your appointment. Step 6. Meet with your academic advisor. On the day of your advising appointment, you may go to your Outlook calendar and select the advising appointment. You will have access to the Microsoft Teams link for your advising appointment. During your appointment, you may discuss your course selection, student organizations, goals, the Fast Track program, as well as any questions you may have. Please plan to be in the room at least five minutes prior to the start of the meeting. Step 7. Register for classes. When your registration availability opens based on your classification, you will be able to register for classes. To register, go to Goldmine, click on Registration, select Add or Drop Classes to register by CRN, or look up each class individually by clicking Look Up Classes to Add. Should you have any questions or concerns, please email the CS Front Office at csfrontdesk at utep.edu.